Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue our lesson about basic PLC GE. Okay. So in the previous video, we already learned about basic PLC GE, about a ladder logic that we focus to the timer off. Okay. And we uh, also uh, create the new program for test with the Proficy Machine Edition and uh, Proficy HMI Scanner also. Yes. So uh, today we will uh, continue to uh, part 13 that we will learn about Timer Pulse. Okay. This is a Later block of a uh, timer pal uh, that uh, it uh, write the uh, TP, yeah, it means that uh, timer pal, yes. And here is the principal working, yes, of timer pal. Actually, we have uh, input PT output. And uh, ET the same as timer on and timer off also, but the principal working is not the same, right? So I would like to uh, explain, yes, about the principal working. We have input, so when we enable the input, you see the uh, input is on, and then the output is turned on immediately but uh, it will uh, turn off the same time when we set yeah, PT so if we uh, set PT example 5 seconds so when uh, the input is turned on forever but after 5 seconds the output will off okay not uh, it doesn't wait the input okay and when uh, we uh, turn on the input again the output will turn on immediately again and then uh, it will uh, turn off again also okay so this is the principal working of a uh, Timer pal, right? Okay, let's go to our software and then uh, create the sample program for test with the Proficy Machine Edition and also connect to the HMI scanner also. Okay, so let's go. In the previous video, we already learned about the timer off, so I will choose this uh, block again so I will comment yeah comment and then enter and then write comment we are learning about timer pal okay so we can write uh, TP yes TP it mean that timer pal and then enter and uh, for this one we can uh, connect the wire and this one is the input right so I will choose the uh, NO contact yes and then choose the variable example TP enable and connect yes and PT actually we can uh, Put the variable or uh, the double integer to uh, test. So right now I will uh, connect to HMI also. So I will create the variable. Yes. So TP underscore uh, PT. Yes, like this. And the name we uh, must put the name. Otherwise, this timer is 
uh, not working right click and then choose edit and example tp name like this and this one for et we can choose the et and this is a contact right we can choose the coin yes c o i l and then enter and i will choose the motor 6 yes so motor 6 yes and i will choose the person um for uh, connect with our hmi yes so right click and then choose the reverend address for person um and then this one for uh, person a right sorry person a and this one for uh, person a also for adjust the pt and here is the person q right for motor 6 okay let's check our program and then uh, it uh, error zero so we can save and then download to the poc yes and uh, for pt we can set like this also so right click and then write value yes example uh, five thousand it means that five second right and if i enable this one yes you see five second yes it will turn off okay and on again yes off okay so in this one we can also watch the signal yes I will remove the existing yes first otherwise uh, we will compute yes yeah. right click and then watch right click and then watch for uh, output and input and uh, go to uh, this tab and then go to uh, data monitor and drag and drop the input and output yes and uh, we can test yes example i enable this one to freeze uh, app 12 yes it will turn on immediately and wait the time the pt the output will uh, turn off yes one power off again and on again yes it will uh, turn on again yes and off again okay so we will connect this one to the HMI also. Okay, let's go to uh, our HMI. Yes. And then uh, create the points. Okay, go to points. And then we can uh, duplicate from this one. Right click, duplicate, and then uh, choose the TP enable, right? TP enable and then choose the version um so version um three two three three two three yes and also the pt the same yes pt yeah can choose this one duplicate and this one for a uh, top right? sorry for uh, tp so we can change the name to a uh, TPPT right and the uh, person A person A uh, 23 yes and also uh, ET right so we can duplicate and uh, we can choose TP right underscore ET and person A number Person A number 21, yes. 21. And one more for uh, motor 6, right? 
so motor switch we can also uh, duplicate from motor file yes and change to motor switch and person queue number six okay so uh, update our project configuration and then uh, start our project and wait a moment for starting the project after that we uh, go to uh, create the screen for test let it go to uh, screen tab and then right click edit the existing screen yes this one uh, I also uh, adjust a little bit yes Adjust this one a little bit, yeah. And I will copy but by right click, select this one, and then uh, select this one, and then uh, press Control and Shift and uh, drag and drop, yes, like this and I will delete this one and change this one to uh, motor file right and this one motor 6 yes and I will rename this one to uh, TP PT yes TPAL PT and this one uh, TPET right okay so uh, let's edit this point by choose the brow the point right so brow the point and then uh, PT right TP okay first TP uh, PT right and we uh, enable the set point also set point action and for this one also uh, browse the point and uh, PT ET right click and then OK and we will change the color of motor when uh, the output is on right so right click open group right click property go to color animation and then edit and this is a uh, motor stick right so uh, we will change from 5 to 6 and then ok and close the group and then uh, choose this one browse the point to uh, tp enable right this one and then click OK and save our screen and run test the screen yes minimize this one first okay so right now I will adjust this one to uh, example 2000 yes you see this one change also because we uh, already link to uh, our HMI and I will disable this one first so if I turn on again yes let's test you see the motor is turned on and then it will turn off after uh, 2 seconds yes example I adjust to uh, 7 seconds yeah. 7000 uh, so I will turn on again yes the motor is on immediately and then after 7 seconds the motor will turn off okay and we can also monitor the signal like this so I will turn off and turn on again yes you see the output is turned on immediately and it will turn off after 7 second yes so uh, this is the principal working of thermopal yes 
that we uh, can create the program for test with the HMI also yes and uh, I hope everyone will uh, understand about this uh, section yes about uh, timer of uh, sorry timer uh, pulse so thank you very much for uh, watching my video and if everyone have any question please drop comment under my video I will reply soon and uh, I'm so sorry because my English is not so good and I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new video that I will create uh, for share to uh, everyone step by step okay so in this time I would like to say uh, thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye